I mean, this shark is obviously communicating something through its body language or through its face language. It's giving the stink face, I would say. What do you think this shark is saying? The same shark can look extremely different depending on what it's engaged in. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at this shark. Several things are happening here. Most obviously, he's showing his teeth while he's swimming. And you're going to see the gills. The gills just prepared to do that gill fluff that you saw. Uh, people call it different things, but obviously he puffed his gills, fluffed his gills, whatever you want to say it is, flared his gills, and he's going to do it again. There it is. Now, I filmed this from the depth of about 40 feet while in Guadalupe last year, 2019. The next question is, who is he communicating with? Is he talking to me? Is there a shark behind me? Is he talking to anyone in the general area? I say he because if you freeze the frame, you see that he's got some claspers that are sticking pretty close to the body. In fact, other than that moment when they drop down there, it's kind of hard to tell that that is a male. Which tells us that even though that's no small fish, he's probably not old enough to mate yet. Noticing that the claspers dropped now makes me wonder other things like, was that intentional? Was that part of the display? Or is that just a byproduct of the fact that he flexed his entire body? But the original question was, what is he saying? First of all, we're presuming that he is saying something, which means that we are recognizing that he looks different than he normally does. So let's look at what they're saying when they look, quote, normal. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to define normal as what they look like when they are generally swimming, meaning mouth slightly agape so that they can have water flowing over their gills in order to get oxygen, ram ventilation. The mouth is open just enough. It's kind of a relaxed mode. It's hanging open. It's getting the water flowing through there, but the jaw isn't flexed. The teeth aren't showing. The mouth isn't wide open. In fact, the majority of the time you don't see much of the teeth except for the lower jaw, and that's even minimal. According to my personal footage, you don't really even see the upper teeth until they are in the act of biting, at which point the upper jaw actually disengages from the skull to come forward. But this footage shows that that's not always the case. As you can see, as the shark is coming straight on, the mouth is already pretty wide open. It's not just hanging open like it's breathing. But not only that, the teeth are bared. That means the shark has made a specific effort to move the upper jaw forward and bare the teeth as it swims by. That's a pretty clear communication in my opinion, and I would say that he's telling me to f off. No, let me change that answer. I would say that showing the teeth is kind of like flipping me off as he goes by, and then the gill flare is like, hey, in case you didn't get it, I'm telling you to F off. In fact, he does it twice, and I'll play them both in slow motion. I don't specifically study shark body language in any official capacity, but if I asked you to choose between whether or not this is a sign of welcoming you or warning you, which one would you guess? On this trip, I did hang out with a couple of people who do study shark body language, and I picked up their new book, and if you're interested in what they have to say about it, I highly recommend it. Join me in Guadalupe next year. Trip details are in the caption. Subscribe and check out my other videos, and check out some of my custom-made shark gear.